Hi, let's talk about the musculature of the orbit. The orbit is covered anteriorly by the orbicularis oculi muscle. The orbicularis oculi muscle has three parts, two of which are visible here. There is the orbital part. The orbital part completely covers, and then some, the orbit. Then there's the palpebral part, which is specifically on the eyelids or the palpebrae, so orbital part surrounding the palpebral part. This name, orbicularis oculi, orbicularis means that its muscle fibers are circumferential, like this, and oculi of the eye. The third part of orbicularis oculi muscle, the lacrimal part, would be deep to the medial canthus of the eye, uh, just above the lacrimal sac. Now let's discuss the extraocular muscles. The extraocular muscles are within the orbit um, and they either attach to the eye, such as the extrinsic eye muscles, or to the superior eyelid, such as this levator palpebrae superioris muscle. Here we can see the tendon for levator palpebrae superioris, or the aponeurosis of it, coming down to insert on the superior tarsus of the upper palpebrae. From the anterior, uh, we get a, uh, a fine look at many of the different uh, eye muscles. So the uh, rectus muscles are all originating from the uh, common annular or tendinous ring, and their, uh, their names are very easy to discern where they're inserting on the, uh, the sclera or attaching distally on the sclera. So here we see the superior rectus at the superior pole, the inferior rectus at the inferior pole. Then we have the medial rectus, and I can tell that this is the medial rectus because it is below the trochlea there. Uh, the trochlea is for the tendon of the superior oblique muscle, which is also medial. Here is the lateral rectus muscle, and the lateral rectus muscle is below the lacrimal gland. So that is another indication of, uh, of position. So uh, turning our attention back here to the superior oblique muscle, that muscle belly is really you know, traversing, we can actually see it there, the, uh, the length of the orbit and its tendon goes through the trochlea before inserting on the sclera just proximal to the uh, superior rectus muscle. And then we can see the inferior oblique muscle here that originates from the maxillary plate and goes up and inserts laterally on the sclera of the eye. So here is a, a view of the orbit uh, with the eye enucleated. Um, so superior rectus muscle there, inferior rectus muscle there, medial rectus, lateral rectus. Um, here's levator palpebrae superioris muscle. Here is that tendon for superior oblique going through the trochlea there. And then this is a continuation of that tendon for superior oblique. And here we can see the muscle belly that's uh, very relaxed. Over here we can see the muscular belly of inferior oblique muscle going up to its tendinous attachment. And sort of central in all of this is going to be the optic nerve, cranial nerve 2, and we can see the central retinal artery within that. Let's take a look from uh, a superior view. Uh, we've gone through the, the orbital plate of the, the frontal bone here, um, and we're looking at the orbital contents uh, superiorly. 
Um, we can see a couple of uh, muscles here. So here's levator palpebri superioris. It has a very, you know, close relationship with the frontal nerve here, which is a branch of V1. Deep to levator palpebri superioris, and here is its lateral margin. We can see superior rectus muscle coming out to uh, the sclera. And we can also see superior oblique muscle. We can really appreciate how its muscle belly is running the, uh, the length of the orbit there. We have a very excellent view of the trochlear nerve, cranial nerve four there, going out to serve the superior oblique muscle. Recall that uh, the superior oblique tendon goes through the trochlea and it is innervated by the trochlear nerve and that is going to be a more medially oriented muscle there. Going uh, deeper within the, uh, the orbit uh, and removing a little bit of neurovasculature, um, we can see uh, several more muscles. So here is the medial rectus, the inferior rectus, and the lateral rectus muscle. This isn't a, uh, a fantastic view of it, but uh, one can you know barely, barely see the inferior oblique muscle there as well. But um, you're, you're better off seeing that muscle from a, an anterior view. So we've discussed the muscles of the orbit, both orbicularis oculi, as well as the extraocular muscles um, and their relationships within the orbit. Thank you very much for your time.